Hey guys, it's Andrew here again with Great Vacs, and today we're gonna to show you a video on how to replace your Kirby vacuum belt. One of the most common questions I think we've ever been asked with Kirby vacuums is how the heck do I replace my belt? They're a little bit confusing, so today we're gonna to show you a lot of cool, helpful tips that are gonna make this a breeze. All right guys, before we get started on this video, always make sure your vacuum cleaner is unplugged and the power switch is turned off. As long as you do those things, you should be nice and safe to go ahead and work on this, but always make sure the vacuum's unplugged and the power switch is off. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and start this process now. So, the Kirby vacuum cleaner has a detachable head on the front here, um, which is a nice feature to have, but it can also make the belt a little bit more complicated to replace, but we're gonna show you how easy it can be. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do, lift up this lid, and then this allows you access to all the features here that allow you to take the head off and get the belt off. So, if you look at the power head here, there's a sticker, and it says belt on, belt off, and it's got a green arrow for belt on and a, and a red arrow for belt off. Um, also, on this piece, this piece is called the belt lifter. If you look at the top of this piece, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, if not we'll put a little picture of it, uh, but there's also a green arrow on the belt lifter on the top here, and there's also a red arrow on the belt lifter right here. Um, so lining those arrows up, lining your green arrow to green arrow and red arrow to red arrow, as long as you line those up, that's going to help a lot with this process. So right now, everything's assembled correctly and it's ready to use, so the belt on green arrows are lined up. Now to take the belt off, you're going to want to line up the red arrows so all the red belt off arrows line up. So take your belt lifter and your belt lifters are going to have a little tab on the side that you can pull like that and that just makes this thing a lot easier to turn. And this is going to apply to all Kirby models. The belt lifter might look a little different but the same concept applies to all of them. So fold that tab out to the side and then you can twist this guy around until your red belt off arrows are aligned just like that. Once those are aligned, you can go ahead and put that back down there, and then you've got your release lever here. You could go ahead and release the power head, and it'll probably fall down just like that, and then you can just lift it right off. Now, what that does is inside of your head here, there's a little hook. There's a hook right here, and when you turn the belt lifter, that hook grabs the belt and hooks it and it unhooks the belt from the shaft that comes out of the motor right here, and that allows you to take the head on and off. So once the belt's been hooked by this little hook in there, then it allows the head to come off, and you can take the head off and do whatever you need to do. You can attach your hose now or whatever you want to do. Um, now, if your belt's broken, you don't really have to worry about turning to the belt off position because the belt's already broken. The head's going to be able to come off as soon as you release this lever anyway. But if you do have a good belt and you're wondering how to get everything off while your belt's on, that's how you do it. Line up your arrows, turn that, the hook will grab the belt, and then you're free to take the head off. Um, so if you can see in here, there's the hook and it's got the belt hooked around it. Um, if your belt's broken, that's not going to be the case, and so then you just need to put a new belt on. So to put a new belt on, all you need to do is you've got these two tab levers here on the sides of the head, on the back side of it here, and there's arrows that tell you which ways lock and which ways unlock. So you're going to turn it to the unlock side, which unlocks it here. Now, some of these on the older models, or if your vacuum is just older in general, um, they're going to be a little bit harder to turn, but if you have a little hammer, you can hit the sides of these tabs here where these black rubber pieces are. You can hit them to get them to turn um, with a little hammer, and that'll help out quite a bit. Once those are turned, the plate just comes off, this plate right here. comes right off, and then you have full access to the brush roll and the belt. Now that you have full access to the brush roll and belt, um, you're going to want to put your new belt on. So. As we've said earlier, this belt's good to go. There's nothing wrong with it, but let's assume it's got a broken belt on it. So you're just gonna basically grab the brush roll and you can just pull it right out of the head. Now, all you do, you take your new belt, put it on, slide it over the brush roll, and then you're ready to put the brush roll back in. Now, when you put the brush roll back in, on the sides of the brush roll here, you've got these, uh, these tabs on the side of the brush roll and they're numbered. So they've got, they're numbered from one all the way up to three on both sides. And also you'll notice one side's larger than the other. So you got your large side and your small side. Both of them are numbered one to three. Now those numbers are fine adjustments on like how far down you want your brush roll to stick. 
So if you've got really high pile carpet, you're probably gonna wanna put it on a number one setting, which will keep the brush roll further up in the head and it won't protrude out of the head as much. Uh, if you've got a lot of low pile carpet and, and hardwood and things like that, you're gonna want it on the, the highest setting, which allows the brush roll to protrude out of the head even more, then you're gonna wanna put it on a three. Um, we send out all of our Kirby vacuums on a number two setting and it seems to work really well for pretty much just about any type of carpet. Um, but if you're noticing that it's not quite working the best on the surface that you're on, then you might wanna fine tune those adjustments a little bit. But we find that just putting it on a two is the best. So you're gonna want the number two side to be sticking up. And remember, you got a large side and a small side, so you can see the little grooves that the brush roll goes into here. And these grooves are a lot closer together than these ones. So this side's your large side, that's your small side. And we're gonna line it up on the number two setting. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna twist it till we're on the number two setting. And then the brush roll, you might need to hit it in the middle here to get it to pop down in place. But that's pretty much all you need to do. So now the brush roll's ready to go, and we just need to hook the belt on this hook here with our belt lifter like we were talking about earlier. Now, on the belt lifter piece, you've got your green arrows and your red arrows again. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn the belt lifter to line up the belt on green arrows. Go ahead and line the green arrows up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, so the belt's not just dangling, you're gonna wanna grab the belt and hold it tight against the brush roll and that's gonna allow it to stick up and be able to be um, hooked by this hook inside of the head here. So go ahead and grab the brush, brush roll and belt and make sure they're nice and solid and not moving. And then you're gonna take your belt lifter and you're gonna turn it and you're gonna feel when the belt lifter and you can also see it in here, you can see that hook grab the belt. Once that hook grabs the belt, just keep twisting. It's gonna get a little stiff, but go ahead and just keep twisting until you line up the red arrows for the belt off position. And then you're good to go. So the belt's been hooked, your new belt, it's all ready to go. Now you just need to take your bottom plate and reinstall it. Now the bottom plate, you've got these tabs right here and here. Those go towards the back of the head where these uh, cam tabs are at. And then on the front, the bottom plate has these little hooks here and here. You just have to hook those on, you'll see these two slots that are cut out of the bumper on the head right here. The hooks on the front of the bottom plate just hook underneath these two slots. So go ahead and hook that, and then your bottom plate will fold right back down into place. And then you can just lock these cams back in. And now the head is ready to be installed and you've got a new belt on. Um, what you're gonna wanna do, a good tip, is raise the height of the vacuum up all the way with the height adjuster so you can lower it but you're gonna wanna press on the bigger pedal to raise it up all the way. And then you've got these hooks right here on the head. Those hook on this bar right here. So get those hooked onto that bar, and then the head will just pivot on that bar. Pivot it all the way up, lock the tab in place, and then now you're ready to put the belt back on with the belt lifter. So right now it's in the belt off position, and you're gonna take your your uh, belt lifter again and turn it all the way until the green arrows line up again to the belt on and that's it. Now you've uh, properly installed a brand new belt on your Kirby. Um, this video is great for installing a new belt obviously and also when you want to attach the hose to the Kirby vacuum cleaner this same concept applies. You have to use the belt lifter to disengage the belt, take the head off and then your new hose can be installed as well. Um, so that's, I think that's going to be it for this video you guys. Did you guys know Kirby vacuums are ranked number one most dependable vacuum cleaner by Consumer Reports and rated number one for pet hair and allergy pickup? To learn more about Kirby vacuum cleaners, click the link below to see a cool video which Kirby vacuum is the best model. And don't forget guys, at Great Vacs, we've serviced and rebuilt nearly 100,000 Kirby vacuum cleaners. So if you have any questions or comments about Kirby vacuums, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.